Well, hi everyone, it's the Equinox today, first day of spring, and I got inspired to do a little planting along this very boring side yard corridor of my house. So if you've seen our um, other videos, you know all about this blue barrel rainwater catchment system. And what I'm gonna show you today is how we're actually gonna irrigate a brand new planted garden with that just by gravity feed. So uh, I'll encourage you to check out the other videos on our playlists and in our video gallery to learn all about how to build your blue barrel rainwater catchment system. Um, we also have detailed how to's on how to do gravity fed drip, but today I'm gonna show you a new application and how you combine bubbler emitters and inline emitters to suit your garden. So let's walk over here. And what did I plant today? These plants are gonna have to wake back up, but I transplanted some borage, a little bit of chocolate mint. This is a rosemary bush. This is a transplant, calla lilies. That's gonna have to wake back up again. A rhododendron, I hope that gets nice and big. We needed some flowering plants over here. A little nasturtium so for some nice orange. Um, this is a Lenten rose, and then we actually split that calla lily, so there's more of it here. So we're gonna improve the view from our kitchen window out here. Um, and then the last thing I did was I actually laid this drip irrigation line that you can see here. So this black main line runs just in one straight line along all those plants. And let me show you a little bit more detail about how that's actually gonna work. So over here, this is an eight barrel blue barrel system and all of these barrels fill from the downspout on the corner there. Whole system's plumbed underneath. So uh, when one barrel's full, all the barrels are full. They all fill and empty at the same time. Um, and on this end of the system, we have a drain valve, okay? And what I did this morning was I attached all of the drip irrigation gear. So this right here is a drip irrigation filter. Let me turn the water off to just show you what that looks like. This is a fine mesh filter. Any drip irrigation system needs one. Um, and by the way, all the parts for this are available at blueberrylsystems.com. Okay, so that's gonna keep, that's a fine mesh filter that's gonna keep any particulates out of your drip system so that your emitters won't clog. This is a gravity fed drip irrigation timer. So uh, really important, if you're doing a gravity fed system, you can't use a normal drip irrigation timer. Um, those require pressure to close fully. So, oops, I'm gonna tighten this while I see that. Uh, side note, anytime you install a new system, you wanna check for leaks right away because usually it's as simple as just tightening something that didn't get tightened all the way down. Um, and then I ran the line, I kept it kind of loose here. Um, because we'll probably bury that under the brick. So I wanted to leave a little extra line there. And then just a very simple um, L fitting here. And then what you see here, this is called a bubbler emitter. Um, so I custom punch these, you just punch a little hole. And again, we have another video on the same playlist um, with details on exactly how to do that. Um, but I can place them wherever I want. So for most of these plants, I put two bubbler emitters per plant. Um, for the more drought resistant, the rosemary, for example, I just put one. Um, but I can actually individually control the flow by twisting these tighter or looser. And it also changes the angle of this little guy. And all those little micro adjustments let you use gravity to your favor. So once we see how the water is coming out, I can adjust those to suit the needs of each plant. Um, but here's what I really wanted to focus on today. So again, here, you know, the nasturtium's got its own. Here's another one for the rose. Um, but what I did here, here we have this, uh, sorry, this Lenten rose um, that's not in line with the other plants. So what I did here, I just ran a little loop of pre-drilled emitter line. So this is the emitter line that's included with our inline emitter kits. Um, and again, all of this equipment is available at BlueBarrelSystems.com. So we have an emitter there, another one here, and I just ran a little loop to serve that little plant. So let's turn this on. Um, we'll come on over here, and this timer is going to let me set a frequency and a duration, which I will do later today. But for now, I'm just going to turn it on. Actually, first we'll turn the water back on. Now we turn the timer on, and I want you to listen because you'll hear the motor opening the valve. There it goes. And now you hear the water rushing. It's my favorite sound. 
So as we come over here, let's follow that water. Oh, look at that. Look, can you hear those emitters waking up? Oop, first time running a drip system is always a lot of fun. You hear each emitter waking up. So that's a lot of flow. I'm probably gonna reduce that, tighten that down. There we go, till it's just barely bubbling. Okay, so I won't make you watch me adjust all of them, but I wanted to set this up so you could see kind of how customizable this is. Now let's check out these inline emitters. How are they doing? There it is. So again, we'll just come down the line, check out how everything's working. And even here at the very end of the line, we still have water. So there you go. So the key principle of gravity fed drip irrigation is just that this whole garden area um, is below the level of my water level in the barrels. So this is a tank gauge right here and it's telling me that this whole, this whole rainwater catchment system, meaning all eight barrels, are probably a little over three quarters full. So we've got a lot of water in there. That's about 440 gallons. Um, and so say the water's here, it's bearing down um, and creating all that minor pressure you need to get the water um, into your garden. And the pressure will keep reducing as the water level drops in the barrels. Um, but again, you don't need pressure to run drip, you just need water in the line. So the key is water is always gonna keep flowing downward and outward till it has nowhere left to go. So as long as my drip line is below the level of the barrels, and it is, that's gonna work for me all season long. So I hope this was helpful. I encourage you to visit bluebarrelsystems.com for articles, demos, more videos, and all of the materials you need to do this. We're here to help you should you need it. Please contact us, give us a call, send us an email, and we'd love to hear from you. Happy spring.